Right, so now we're going for the hardest procedures of all, okay? So which is actually getting the motor shaft pulled apart from the motor, okay? So, right, so putting this thing on, on side for now, and then we just need a soft cloth or something like that. You're gonna fold many, many times. This is just to protect. So when you lock this uh, ply here to the motor shaft, you're not damaging metal or metal, okay? Ah, a piece of rubber. We actually do a much better job than a cloth I used in this video, okay? So just use rubber instead, okay? So I'm gonna put this in here. Protection. You're gonna be locking the blind not too hard, okay? Don't go too hard on, on the gear, okay? Here. Oh yeah, too easy. So just gonna leave a bit of area here so you can actually use it, like you can actually put your fingers here behind. And so actually both hands, so one will be holding here and another one you need to grip the ply, okay? So you're gonna be bringing this thing, uh, trying to do a little spinning movement, okay? So I will spin to the left hand side, okay? Because of the, the helical gear is actually to the right hand side. So if you spin to this side here, so it's very likely that the ply is just gonna come out, okay? Right, so three, two, one. Yeah, here we go. Finally got this thing. Oh, happy days. Right, what are we inspecting here? So if you see the O-ring, the rubber uh, orange ring here, that's a very good news actually, okay? But if the O-ring is gone, that's a bad news because you're probably gonna have some like a wear on the motor shaft, okay? And this is not very good, okay? So this thing is probably now at the moment like going wobbly inside the bearing and the retaining compound might not be enough, okay? To fix this problem. So just make sure there's no scratches uh, along the neodymium magnet, okay? Because if this is going wobbly, this will be touching the, the, the motor, okay? So and then that's when you get the knocking sound. Bang, bang, bang. Power!